What's up dudes and dude to the urine? My name's Seth and we are back in for some more Trove tro 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 Weekly Chaos Chest Loot. So this is gonna be the top Chaos Chest Loot in Trove for this week, which is a new aura for your weapons, which is great because it's been 5,000 years since we ended up actually getting one. Uh, if you have already seen my other videos talking about the Eclipse Dragons, you can notice that these video effects are very, very similar, if not the exact same from the ugly spider bat dragon, right? You know how the front of its mouth is all drooly and stuff? So I just threw it on my gun styles here just so you can kind of get an idea for it. It's pretty neat if you actually want to have either an acid style theme or I could also see you getting away with using this as honey just because th for some weird reason there's some bee costumes in this game. Uh, but either way, it still is a very neat style. I think just because there hasn't really been any poison theme uh, that you could end up using on any of your weapons or anything like that, right? So as far as opening your chaos chest, I honestly am not sure if I would recommend it just because of the fact that this is not going to end up being a premium item. It is going to end up being fairly common just from what I've seen from other people getting it as a drop. Uh, but I myself just ended up crafting it and I pretty much save all my chaos just for when there's a premium collectible because then you're going to end up getting more chaos cores out of the chest, right? That's why I have so many. So right down here is going to be quite expensive, just the normal 30,000 flux, but 3, 000, or 300 sticky ichor, that's, you know, a little bit difficult for starting players. But most of all, 30 somber souls is pretty crazy. Like even I myself in endgame, player only have 311 of course I can just buy some more and yeah that still is a lot uh, just considering that it only costs 30 but that still is pretty expensive just as far as a stellar or not a stellar but a radiant aura is concerned it's still neat but most players aren't going to be able to benefit from this uh, and then last but not least it's just going to be eight eyes of Cthulhu now one thing that I do want to point out to any of you new starting players that are checking out this video randomly is that this aura can only be put on to a weapon that is radiant or stellar and that's it so don't bother actually going for it if you don't actually have yourself a radiant weapon and all you're gonna end up doing for that where is uh the forge i need the thing there it is right over here the enchanted forge you're just gonna end up putting your weapon up here swapping over to the uh different aura and then it's going to cost you 75 glim to swap your aura over and over and over again depending on if you actually have all of them out of the way or not and then this one's going to end up being there so in any case thank you so much for watching very much appreciated hope you have a fantastic day sign aura and stay epic